What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at the Dira lock screen locker uh, ransomware I've got it on my desktop here as you can see I'll just show you the file details for this um, particular type ransomware now they've added the uh, encryption on this as well and I'll show you how to remove this and also how to decrypt all your files if you do get hit with this particular type of ransomware so let's get this installed on the system and uh, I'll show you what to do, uh, how to remove it, and also how to decrypt your files. So here we've got uh, Process Explorer. I'm just going to open this up here so we can see uh, the actual process. You can see it running here. That is pretty straightforward and easy to remove. You can see it's starting to encrypt data already. And uh, what we're going to do is once we get the screen display coming up, I'll show you exactly what this is. And there you go. It says, hey... I've encrypted your private files uh, to get your files back follow the instructions and basically they're asking you to click OK here and there you have the actual display and the timer now if you try to close this down uh, try, try and Alt F4 and stuff like that you'll get a message uh, and stuff like that but you can't close it down like this it completely blocks you out as you can see the whole desktop has been overtaken um, and you can see here it's saying pay your 30 US uh, dollars uh, to Skype account and that's what they're asking you to do uh, and if the timer over one day then I will delete all your private files for each try you do I will delete a file uh, basically restart your computer and I will delete all files so basically threatening you here so when you've got your little buttons here now I wouldn't advise you to pay for decrypting this uh, there is a way to decrypt your files for free and I will talk about that a little bit later on when we get to the decryption process um, but you can see here uh, you've got the messages up the top of the screen here and you try to push uh, any of these you'll get errors so what we'll do is uh, try to control alt delete and if you try control alt delete and you open up task manager it will automatically close up so let me just quickly show you that um, as well so I'll quickly push control delete and I'll go into task manager here and as soon as I click on this it closes it down so all you can do here is at this stage is boot into safe mode uh, and to do that we can just push uh, control delete again and then we're going to come down to the power button on the bottom right hand corner here and restart the computer and you want to hold down the shift key uh, to do that okay so once you've done that what will happen is keep continually holding the shift key down and this will take us into uh, that option there so we're going to continue hold the uh, shift key down while we're rebooting and this allows us to get into the troubleshooting options as you can see here choose an option go into there go to advanced options and also we're going to go into startup settings once we get into startup settings you can see this will enable us to uh, get into safe mode and now we're going to just click on uh, restart and this will then take us into startup settings here now we can push uh, five on the keyboard and that will take us into safe mode with networking just let this boot up uh, once this boots up we should be in safe mode with networking and we can then remove this from the computer pretty straightforward and easy to do so I'll take you through step by step so there we are We're at safe mode now so all we need to do here is to remove the actual culprit so you can sh you should be able to see all your data has been encrypted here um, you won't be able to get this back you can't rename it either it's it's just completely uh, encrypted here so we'll quickly take a quick look at the uh, data and you can see the actual pictures area is encrypted as you can see here all encrypted and if you try to rename this I'll just quickly show you this just to show you you can't rename them um, I'll just just rename this and take the uh, extension off and leave .jpg and there we are we try and open this up and it and it says it can't open it so okay so what we need to do here now is we need to remove uh, the actual ransomware first and then we can go ahead and try to decrypt our file so to do this we're going to go to file explorer uh, this PC then the C drive then users 
then the account that you're using and then app data and if you don't see app data you can just go up to the view tab here and options and inside here view and then show hidden files folders and drives make sure the dot is in there and then click apply and okay I've already got mine done once you've done that you should be able to get access here go into the roaming and then Microsoft and then come down uh, where you can see Windows and then start menu and then we can go into programs and then start up here and you should see a file called logon.exe or another file with uh, which is to do with this uh, ransomware we're going to uh, right click on this and delete that file so just delete this and that's that done now also we have one on our desktop I'm just going to delete this as well this is the one we clicked on you will need to find the one you've clicked on and delete that as well and once we've done that that is pretty much that that is now been removed so we can restart the system back to the desktop and we should be okay now it should not start up again and there we are back at the desktop the ransomware is gone unfortunately our files are still encrypted so we do need to decrypt those files and there is a tool uh, thank you to uh, Michael Gillespie who's actually created a tool to decrypt your files and I will put the link in the description to his Twitter account where you can contact him and ask him for a copy of this now don't be bombarding him with uh, uh, copies for this uh, tool but I'm just going to quickly show you here not to do a search on the internet you can see uh, Derelock decryptor you can see here blogcheckpoint.com right under bleeping computer now bleeping computer is a, a trusted site but you can see here underneath here if you look at this article it's pointing towards the decryptor here you can see and hit this decryptor and download it don't download this decryptor because it's not the right decryptor and uh, it has got um, bad intentions built into side there so don't be downloading this but I'll quickly show you and I'll upload it to virus total this is not the decryptor tool that you want to be using okay you're going to probably end up infecting yourself even more or probably end up with another ransomware so let's just uh, quickly take a look at this I'll drag this on here and show you and upload it uh, to virus total it wants us to put the .exe on here and that's so it doesn't get detected when it's downloading and you can see it's resembling the, the actual ransomware that we've actually got it doesn't look anything like a decryptor at all and it's got the same details here so don't be go clicking on this it's not going to help you and that's where you've got to be careful when you're searching the internet for tools and uh, decryption tools because you could end up infecting yourself even more so let's just quickly upload this to virus total and I'm pretty sure that it's not a legitimate tool because um, it won't be detecting as what it's detecting here so I'll just quickly view analysis on this and as you can see here so we're not going to be using this tool we're going to get the proper tool uh, from uh, Michael Gillespie and uh, I've already contacted him and he's given me the tool and as I said don't be asking just bombarding his Twitter account just for the tool to keep for keepsake only ask for the tool if you've actually got uh, problems with your computer with this particular ransomware and you want to get your files back this is the actual proper tool here and uh, we're going to run this you can see here we have the actual encrypted files and all we need to do here is open up the actual tool I'm going to run this as administrator and there we go and all we have to do here is select the directory and it's in pictures so I'm just going to select pictures here and then click OK but you can see you can select whatever folder you want so whatever one that you need to decrypt just select that folder and then decrypt and basically it will decrypt all of those uh, files for you so you can see this is the decryption process that's now completed and if we go to the actual location what we just decrypted
we should see all the files have been decrypted and if we open these up you can see they should open now now they've been decrypted properly and there you go that's pretty much it so again as I said if you do need this tool if you have got this particular ransomware on your system then obviously you can contact him and ask him for the actual tool itself it's no good uh, bombarding his Twitter account uh, and asking for the tool uh, if you don't need it you only need to use this tool if you have got encrypted files but with this particular ransomware okay can't stress that enough really because um, uh, I'm pretty sure he's a busy bloke and as you can see here we can try one more I'm just going to do uh, New York here and again that's now decrypted and we can also do a downloads folder as well and then push the decryption button here and that will also decrypt those files as well just as you can see and if we take a look here you'll see the pictures New York has decrypted all those as you can see what an awesome picture and uh, we'll go to uh, the downloads area here and you can see it's decrypted those as well pretty easy and straightforward and I think that's going to be about it for the decryption part so that's basically how you can do that now remember guys back up your system regular and use a bit of common sense and you should uh, keep safe from uh, ransomware itself big thanks again to Michael Gillespie for giving me that uh, tool to show you guys anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos also if you've got any problems with your computers you can head over to the forums that's the place to go if you want to join the community over there okay thanks again for watching bye for now